In the evolving landscape of 21st century naval warfare, stealth, endurance, automation, and versatility have become critical features of surface combatants. One vessel that embodies all these characteristics in a uniquely German fashion is the F-125 Baden-Württemberg-class frigate. Designed to operate in low-intensity conflict zones for extended durations with minimal crew rotation, this warship represents a fundamental shift in how Germany envisions its naval commitments. It's not just another modern frigate, it's a radical departure from traditional warship design. With four ships already built and the German Navy preparing for the future with the next-generation F-126 class, it's time to examine why the F-125 stands out and what it brings to the table compared to its global peers. Unlike most frigates in NATO navies, the F-125 was never meant to be a traditional blue-water ship designed for high-intensity naval battles. Instead, its core purpose is long-duration stabilization operations. Missions such as embargo enforcement, counter-piracy patrols, escort duties, and special forces deployment. This is reflected in every aspect of its design. At over 7,200 tons full load displacement, the F-125 is larger than many destroyers, yet it is officially classified as a frigate. Its massive hull accommodates a range of sophisticated technologies that support long-term deployments without the need to return to port for months at a time. A defining feature of the F-125 is its radical crew concept. Unlike traditional warships that rotate the entire ship back to port to change crews, the F-125 operates on a dual crew system with a high level of automation. The ship's systems are designed to be operated by just 120 core crew members, an extraordinarily low number for a vessel of this size. This allows the German Navy to maintain an operational tempo of nearly two years at sea with only short port stops for maintenance and crew rotations. Thanks to its high degree of automation and redundancy, the crew can operate the ship efficiently while minimizing fatigue, making it ideal for long-term deployments in distant theaters. Armament-wise, the F-125 is optimized for versatility, not brute force. It carries eight RGM-84 Harpoon anti-ship missiles, a 127mm Leonardo main gun capable of precision land attack with volcano extended range guided munitions, and two 27mm remote controlled MLG 27 autocannons for close in threats. For air defense, it relies on two 21 cell ram launchers, providing short range missile protection against aerial and missile threats. While it lacks a dedicated vertical launch system for medium or long-range surface-to-air missiles, something many other advanced frigates include, the F-125 prioritizes mission modularity over heavy anti-air specialization. The Baden-Württemberg class also incorporates an extensive sensor and communication suite. Its TRS-4D ASA radar provides high-resolution tracking of air and surface targets, while the ship's electronic warfare systems offer robust protection against jamming and enemy detection. A notable feature is the high level of integration with land and joint forces, allowing the frigate to serve as a command and control hub for joint expeditionary operations. It includes dedicated facilities for special forces with fast boats, storage, and a hangar for two NH-90 helicopters, significantly enhancing its operational reach and flexibility. One of the most groundbreaking aspects of the F-125 is its mission modularity. Unlike older German frigates, the F-125 has a large mission deck and modular spaces that can be reconfigured depending on the task. These areas can be used for launching and recovering unmanned vehicles, housing humanitarian aid, or providing command facilities for multinational task forces. In this way, the F-125 is a multi-purpose platform that can shift roles, from humanitarian missions to direct fire support without structural modifications. When it comes to endurance, the F-125 truly shines. The ship is designed for a sustained presence of up to 24 months in a theater of operations, with 5,000 nautical miles of range at 15 knots. This makes it one of the most persistent warships in its class. 
The hybrid electric propulsion system reduces fuel consumption and acoustic signatures, allowing for quieter and more economical long-distance cruising. The Codlag combined diesel, electric, and gas system consists of four diesel generators, two electric motors, and one gas turbine, enabling silent operations during patrols and high-speed sprints when needed. Despite all these innovations, the F-125 has faced criticism, particularly regarding its limited air defense and anti-submarine warfare capabilities. While it does carry sonar and decoys, the lack of a dedicated tow-to-ray sonar system and long-range surface-to-air missiles restrict its use in high-intensity naval battles. Critics argue that its size and price tag, over $700 million per ship, could have justified a more heavily armed design. Yet this criticism often overlooks the specific operational doctrine for which the ship was conceived, long-term stabilization and special operations not peer-to-peer -peer naval warfare. In comparison with other frigates of similar size, such as the British Type 26 or the French FDI Belhara class, the F-125 trades some kinetic firepower for endurance, automation, and modularity. The Type 26 is more heavily armed for anti-submarine warfare and features a larger vertical launch system suite, while the French FDI focuses on integrated air defense and electronic warfare. However, neither offers the same extended deployment capabilities or crew-saving automation that the F-125 emphasizes. In terms of endurance, only the U.S. Navy's future Constellation class comes close, but it remains under construction. It's important to note that the F-125 was also developed with export potential in mind. While the original design has not yet been exported, the lessons learned from the F-125 are directly feeding into the development of the next German frigate class, the F-126 Niedersachsen class. This future platform, co-developed by the Dutch Dahmen Group and Germany's Blom Voss, is expected to correct many of the F-125's shortcomings while preserving its strengths. The F-126 is being designed as a true multi-role warship, featuring a larger vertical launch system for long-range air defense, enhanced anti-submarine warfare capabilities with a full sonar suite, and further refinements in automation. At around 10,000 tons full load, it will be even larger than the F-125 and among the most capable frigates in the world. The first unit is expected to be delivered around 2028 with four planned initially and options for more. The F-126 will likely represent Germany's future Blue Water Naval centerpiece, moving beyond the stabilization-focused mission of the F-125 while retaining the flexibility and technological sophistication Germany has invested in over the past two decades. In many ways, the F-125 represents a bridge between Germany's Cold War naval posture and its future expeditionary role with NATO and beyond. It reflects a country that, for much of the post-war period, focused on coastal defense and support missions, now transitioning into a nation ready to maintain a naval presence in distant theaters. This shift is visible in Germany's increasing involvement in Indo-Pacific patrols, counter-piracy missions, and participation in NATO's standing maritime groups. One cannot discuss the F-125 without mentioning its contribution to NATO interoperability. Its communications systems are fully compliant with NATO standards, and the platform is equipped to host multinational staff, making it ideal for leading joint missions. Moreover, the German Navy has used the F-125 in a number of real-world deployments, including long missions in the Mediterranean and off the coast of Africa. These experiences have helped validate the ship's concept and informed ongoing development of its replacement. Ultimately, the F-125 Baden-Württemberg-class frigate isn't trying to be everything for everyone. It fills a specific role, and it fills it well. For extended low-intensity missions, humanitarian operations, special forces deployment, and multinational cooperation, it offers a balance of endurance, automation, and modularity that few other ships can match. While it won't be the tip of the spear in a high-intensity naval war, it provides the German Navy with a persistent, flexible, and technologically advanced tool to project power, support allies, and maintain maritime security. 
As Germany pivots toward building the F-126, the legacy of the F-125 will not be one of overwhelming firepower, but of innovation, endurance, and adaptability. It taught the German Navy valuable lessons in shipbuilding, automation, and global deployment strategy, lessons that will shape European naval development for decades to come. And in an age where hybrid threats, long-term presence, and flexible operations are more important than ever, the F-125's unique vision may prove to be exactly what modern naval strategy requires. What are your thoughts on the F-125 frigate? Let us know in the comments below. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give us a like and subscribe to our channel to get our latest videos straight to your notifications.